Hi Virgo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of September. This is Marion, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Be greatly appreciated. Decks I'm using, social media, uh, personal reading information, all kinds of stuff there. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out to per for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. Your support really does mean a lot to me, and I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for all the support that you give the channel to help it grow and flourish so we can get the uh, messages out to the people that need to hear them. And thank you so much for being a part of that. Okay, Virgo, Virgo. Let's see what we have of Virgo. Second half of... September. What do we have for Virgo? All right. What do we have for Virgo? I actually am recording this on September 1st, so um, so I like to be ahead on my readings because I do work a full-time job, and I never know when I have overtime, so I like to have the readings ahead in case I don't have time to record them. And so, happy belated birthday. <laughs> Okay, so Virgo, hope everybody's doing well, going into fall already, if you can believe that. All right, so let's see what we get here with the Zodiac Oracle, and if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine, but we do have Saturn, which does represent Capricorn, and Saturn is all about ambition, <coughs> oh, sorry, Ooh. ambitions, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So I don't know how that's going to play into your reading, your love reading, unless you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So I don't know. We'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. So, first thing I'll do is I'll get an overall Love Connection Energy card, if I can shuffle my cards, and then I'll pull one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other, about the connection. So we can have one overall, okay, I was going to take, well, we do have love here, which is 10, but 10 is usually about a completion. And then you have one, which is a new beginning. So you could be having a new beginning with your person or it's like the love is at the completion. You know, you're at the Ten of Cups point where now you have the happy home and family. You're committed to each other and you're having this new beginning or it's an ending between a love situation. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to jump too far ahead. So let's get one. Okay, one for you, one for your person, that's too many, one for your person, one for Cap uh, well, Samus Capricorn, so one for Virgo's person. Okay, how are you feeling, Virgo, about your person? This can be any kind of connection, any kind of connection with whoever you have in mind. So let's see how you're feeling about them and this connection. Hope. Oh, Seven and two is nine, which is about dreams and wishes, joy, happiness. So dreams and wishes coming true. So you're having hope, faith, and optimism in this connection. And they have high priestess of fire. So they could be a fire sign if they're not a Capricorn. So this is someone who is very, and five does represent change, but high priestess of fire. So, you know, the fire energy is very fiery, passionate, go-getter, determined kind of energy. So let me just, oh, I dropped my book. So, <laughs> so I just feel like, I feel like they probably, maybe they have a lot of passion towards you, but they're not expressing that. And that five here could be change, the change that is needed that, you know, because I feel like you're a little bit, like in the dark here, like you don't really know. So you're just hoping and wishing about this connection. 
and I do feel like they do have fire, passionate energy towards you. And the five for change could be that they probably need to open up and express that to you. But there definitely is love here too. So love and passion. Bottom of the deck, we have loyalty. So 33. So three is about coming together, working together, reuniting. And three and three, six is a very healing, balancing number. So, so I definitely feel like this could be a very loyal uh, connection here. If this person here tells you how they truly feel, because I feel like you're kind of left in the dark, but you're still having that optimistic outlook. Okay, so let's get some clarification now. Tarot. Oh. See what's going on. Be Virgo. So let's get a clarification for Virgo, for hope. Clarification for Virgo, for hope. And we have the Ten of Stones. That's the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So, and there's the Ten there with the love, which kind of reminds me of the Ten of Cups. Now that I think about it, that is the Ten of Cups. And now you have the Ten of Pentacles with this person, how you feel towards them in this connection. You want to go the whole nine yards with this person. You want to be in a long-term commitment. You want to have the happy home and family. You want to have children, grandchildren, possibly, or animal children here. You want them as a long-term person here, like forever. They, You want them as your forever person. Wow. So let's get one for your person. Why are they in this high priestess of fire? Like they're feeling fiery, passionate about you, but it's like they're not telling you that. Hmm. Because a high priestess doesn't share. She keeps her secrets secret. <laughs> The tower. Hmm. So that's Aries energy. So this can be, you know, either a breakup, shake up, a uh, big meltdown, explosion, or it could also be an epiphany, an aha moment, or it can be a big surprise here. So I don't know. Let's clarify. It's clear as day here that you want them as your forever person, but they're having a tower of some kind, tower moment of some kind here. So let's get more clarity on what's going on. One for you, one for them. Okay, so with the Ten of Stones, we have the Eight of Stones. So you want to put, wow, so a lot of um, Earth energy here, and this is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you definitely want to put in the hard work here, the dedicated effort, the hard work into making them your long-term person. Wow. And you want to work at it. You want to work at the relationship, the connection moving forward. Let's see what they have with the tower, the king of spirals. So this is the king of wands, king or queen of wands. So they definitely here could be a fire sign. So, you know, the king of spirals here, um, I think it's the king of wands. Yeah. So, Again, this King of Wands uh, energy is very uh, passionate, energetic, goal-driven, goes after what they want, a lot of accomplishment, drive, ambitions, very successful, could be an entrepreneur type of energy, creative. Hmm. So maybe they're just feeling all this passion and it's like they're about to explode <laughs> with this like tower moment. It's like can be like an explosion. So I think they're just full, so full of passion for you, but yet they're not telling you. But they may, and that may be their big tower moment, is that they just kind of like explode and tell you exactly how they feel. It's like they can't take it anymore. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is now. For you, Virgo, second half of July. Okay, we got three. That's what I wanted. So now we have the King of Mirrors. So, hmm, that's water energy. Three of Mirrors, water energy. And the Two of Pentacles, which is your energy. So the King of Mirrors, you know, King of Cups here, energy, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, doesn't have to be. 
is about love, emotions, feelings. So I definitely feel like here you definitely do have a lot of love and emotions because you have love here. You definitely feel are feeling the love towards this person and you want you want to build long term and want them as your forever person. Wow. And then with them, they have the two of stones. So they're juggling things around the two of pentacles and that's your energy. So they definitely have you on their mind because this is the earth energy. But they're juggling around, uh, juggling around a lot of thoughts in their mind, their feelings, uh, not sure what their next step will be. And I feel like maybe they have, they've just been holding back for so long with the high priestess energy that, um, again, they might just explode with this tower moment. But connecting the two of you is the Three of Cups. So this is reuniting, coming back together, having compassion towards one another. Um, you know, celebrating. So the energy is there to come together, to if it's reuniting or just coming together, going out for a drink, having a good time, having compassion towards one another, that energy is there definitely between the two of you. But they need to decide what their next step is towards you is going to be because I think they're just just gonna like like explode or something like that like may just come at you and be like you know big ball of fire <laughs> all right so let's see so nine of scrolls so you're worried and anxious and stressed over this whole situation uh nervous energy that's definitely uh air energy here you Gemini Aquarius so you're definitely stressed out over this whole situation right now and then they have the ace of spiral so wow a lot of fire energy on their side so they definitely could be a, either an Aries or just another fire sign but this is the brand new beginning it's a passionate exciting brand new beginning so they definitely do want this brand new beginning with you but they're trying to decide how to tell you this and I, I don't know, but for some reason they've been holding back. And they're just going to like come at you like, hey, up, this is what I want. And be like very fiery, passionate and uh, like come at you with the night of spirals. That's that action coming forward. So this is uh, your advice in the situation. So now we have the night of spirals, fire energy. So that's their energy. So we get one more. justice so so I definitely feel like the scales need to be balanced in this situation uh, truth and clarity needs to be had justice needs to be served in this connection so you may be the one that may have to come forward to this person in a very energetic passionate way <laughs> like you're you need to meet their level of passion I'm feeling like to balance out the scales here I think you're very earthy and grounded they're very fiery and passionate, and I think you need to level up um, and meet their their passion to to like equal out this uh, connection. Hmm. All right, so let's get a couple more. Clarify your advice. We have a couple more to clarify advice. So we got one, one more. All right, so we have Strength, which is Leo, and we have the Knight of Scrolls. So we got two knights here. Wow. So, yeah, your advice is you probably need to take action and move forward towards this person with truth and clarity, passion, and excitement. This is telling you strength to remain strong and um, have a lot of endurance. You may need endurance with this person if this, they're this fiery. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I think you have to match their uh, fiery, passionate endurance, I'm, I'm thinking here. So, yep, fire, passion, scales need to be balanced, truth, clarity. Here's the truth and clarity, and here's the strength and the courage and the bravery moving forward. Wow. You have to be really strong for this with this person because I feel like you're going to have to match their energy feeling very fiery fiery energy although there is uh 
love. And the outcome here, we have the King of Stones, which is you. So being in your energy, being strong, stable, and grounded, which we have strength here. Um, you know, growth, expansion. So being in your energy. So that's your outcome. So what else for your outcome? What else for your outcome? So we have, oh, there you go, Ace of Stones. So you have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Stones, brand new passionate beginning, strong, stable, secure beginning for the long term. Because you want them as your long-term person, forever person. You want to put in the hard work. And this is the Ace of Stones that will get you through and build for the, your long-term person. This is building with your long-term person. It's a secure, stable, grounded beginning. Building long-term to build this firm foundation up to this big structure. I don't know if it's a rock or whatever it is there. Nothing can overturn it all right and then you have the three of spirals so this is an energy of you know period of waiting though so this is you know waiting for your ships to come in you can see it out in the distance the direction you're going in your visions in sight but yet you have a period of waiting for some reason so I don't know, there may be a, your advice is to definitely come forward to this person to match their energy, but then there's going to be a period of waiting for some reason as the outcome, but you have the stable brand new beginning here and definitely being in your energy. So I don't know why a period of waiting would be there. So let's clarify the three. Why is there waiting here? three of stones well we have the nine of stones the nine of pentacles so this is a single energy so you know this is being secure and stable on your own and you know maybe the tower moment for them and we did have justice over here maybe they're walking away from a situation that's why we have waiting here maybe they're in the process of maybe divorcing or separating or leaving a situation so until they become single, there's a period of waiting, perhaps, for this person. But you're definitely standing your ground for this brand new stable beginning, and you want to put in the hard work and make them your forever person. And maybe that's why they're holding back from you, because they're going through this tower moment of leaving something first to be with you. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the chariot. So that's moving forward. Um, cancer energy, so moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition, energy, uh, balanced energy, you know, going for your success, your victory, accomplishment. It's definitely moving forward quickly, manifesting a brand new beginning here with the magician. So wanting to manifest this brand new beginning very quickly, taking control with the emperor energy, taking charge, taking control. The Knight of Stones. So you have an energy moving forward very, very quickly to manifest this brand new beginning. Taking the lead, taking control, taking charge. But then the Knight of Stones, the Knight of Pentacles here, that's your energy. It's kind of a slow energy. They're a slow building energy, but they're long term. And they're very stable, sturdy, and grounded. So even though you may want to move this forward very, very quickly and manifest this very quickly, this is also telling you to slow it down so you can secure this. Because you have two, uh, you have the conflicting energies here. All right, so I do see uh, a lot of love and passion um, between the two of you. Brand new beginnings of passion, excitement, stable, secure energy we don't have a lot of cups here though but we do have the ten of cups here which is the ten, sort of like the ten of cups to me so i definitely see a lot of love stability passion but they may need to totally leave something and be single before you can come together all right so maybe um you need to have a conversation if you haven't told each other how you felt and what you want and desire for the long term. 
maybe you need to tell them that also. That's why we have the Knight of Swords there. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Virgo, and this love connection. So we have Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Not, and that's the very first card of the deck. Number one, and that's all about new beginnings. Number one. The Sacred Hearth. Huh, let me just see what exactly that is. This is the Mother Mary Oracle. Uh, let's see. So I guess this is about just having, always having a sacred space, a sacred home, a cherished place to go, um, that you're never lost and abandoned. You always have a place. So I feel like you will always have a bond and a place to go in, to one another. Like you would be each other's sacred hearth, if that makes any sense. You know, hearth, you think of above a fireplace, and we have all this fiery, passionate energy here. All right, and then we have 28, Our Lady of the Ocean of Rebirth. And we have 28, which is 10 again. So, you know, endings, new beginnings. So, I mean, the ocean, when I think of, I, I think of, you know, water energy, which is about love, emotions, feelings overcoming emotions or maybe even sad times so you know whatever maybe i'm feeling with them uh if they're overcoming something whatever whatever emotional things they were going through i think they will overcome that with our um lady of ocean rebirth hmm, okay that could also be about baptizing also in some way like renewal Okay, then we have Our Lady of Soul Birth. So I definitely feel like five change. So I definitely feel like they're going through change. There needs to be a change in this communication, the relationship, definitely what you want and expect from each other moving forward. I definitely feel like it's a soul connection here with Our Lady of Soul Birth. Okay, so we have Our Lady of the Rose Child, 23, which is five again, which is about change. We have five here, five here, five here, a lot of fives. Um, I'm not sure the lady, number 23. Let's see. This book has a lot of writing, so... Uh, oh, this is about growing and blooming and flourishing. So I definitely feel like this can bloom into something um, really big and beautiful once you come into union and have the soul birth with one another, birth of the soul connection, this union, having like that rebirth within one another in this connection, like cleansing each other's energy. I think you'll heal and cleanse each other and have sort of like an emotional rebirth soul connection birth if that makes sense and um i think this will bloom into something big and you definitely are sacred i think sacred uh partners here okay uh virgo i just need see they need to walk away from something uh but you may need me you may need to be clear see i can't even speak and tell them exactly what you want from them moving forward you want to build and grow for the long term. You want them as your forever person. So I think you may need to make that clear to them. And this, you know, could be with the Saturn energy, all about ambition and goals. So you, I think maybe you're feeling very ambitious about building this for the long term. But I think they need clarity on how you truly feel. Okay, Virgo, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. And maybe something there will resonate for you. I would say watch something if you find it anyway. Disregard the title. I do consider them all timeless. Um, 
If you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. So that's four readings a month. So you don't miss out on that. And best of luck to you here in your love connection. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.